Alright, so I haven't uploaded in a bit. I've been sick two times, and the developers have had plenty of time to release an awesome new winter event, right? Let's go check it out. Alright, so we have a map where we defend the middle, enemies rush in from the sides, hmm, I think we've seen something like this before. Oh right, the duck hunt event. In fact, when me and a friend saw this, my only idea in my head was, this better not be the exact same event. And in order to test that theory, what we decided to do was to do a duck hunt event strategy, except on the new map. And before we even start with that, as soon as I load in, I see a bunch of changes, but as soon as I open the inventory, the first thing I see is broken tower animations, a very uncomfortable way to unequip your towers having to click each one manually, the rewards tab is still glitched despite them saying they've been working a year on this new UI, and then when I walk over to this new armory place that they've probably also spent a year working on for some reason, it just opens the inventory. I mean, Tower Defense Simulator. If you could overhype anything, it's gotta be this UI. We're not here to talk about a bunch of useless overhype changes. So we go into a game and literally follow the strategy of the Duck Hunt event step by step, only skipping over some steps that don't apply to this new map, like clearing the third or fourth layer of plots. And so here's how it goes. We start off the match and we clear our first layer of plots. Then as the strategy says, place down some mini gunners as soon as we get our money. Then we clear out the second layer of plots, and now some of you are probably wondering why not leave the last plot unpurchased because that gives you more time to max out all your towers. Well, we're doing a speedrun strategy, so we're actually doing this even harder than this normally would be, and we're still using towers like these. And that's because simply the duck hunt event strategy was really good. And then from there, we spam snipers. Now, of course, the strategy calls for a bit more snipers, but we don't have enough, so we just have one of our players using Ranger. Because it's optional in the original strategy, might as well use it here because we have less cliff space. However, we don't get to see the Rangers until a bit later because they're expensive, so right now, I'm just getting max snipers to compensate for the fact that I can't put six of them down. And I honestly don't need to commentate the rest of this game. It is exactly the same thing as the duck hunt event. I am not making this up. We followed the steps exactly and we got to the last wave. And do you want to know what happened on the last wave? The boss comes out, we chain our commanders, we use our medics, the boss gets low, and then this happens. I mean TDS. Do you see those rangers up there that were shooting something else instead of the sleigh that was going to kill us? Our rangers had 20 minutes to shoot down that sleigh. Because of Tower Defense Simulator's amazing targeting system, we lost the game. But the point was proven. If you didn't clear out that last slot and decided to get a bit better defenses, you would have beaten this mode using the exact same strategy as the duck hunt. You know what this is telling you? They put zero effort into making this event interesting or fun. They just reskinned the enemies and sent it out saying that this is good enough. And sadly enough, it might actually be. People ate it up. It's an update, right? An update is better than nothing. But I mean, if you're going to reuse the exact same event, and I'm not kidding when I say the exact same event because this is the exact same event, and when you're going to add another battle pass like you did 200 times before, and we got to keep grinding and grinding all over again, when you're going to have huge FPS drops on the final boss fight, despite probably a lot of testing and development, and when you're going to add a totally original new event tower, at this point, it seems like there's nobody on the development team who really cares about the game left. Reskin an event, push out a quick and easy update, and enjoy the Robux. That's how it is, right? Now, of course, I could be wrong. What if the developers behind the scenes are working on some cool, new, super unique game mode that we're gonna really love, and it's gonna be something very different from all the other games, something maybe challenging? Then yes, what I am saying is definitely too harsh. But from what I'm seeing in this event, the developers are really not putting much heart into this game anymore. You know how an event should be? Let's take a look at Easter 2020, for example. An easy and a hard mode. That is already one very useful feature that you can have in an event. There are lots of higher level players in Tower Defense Simulator who want a challenge. This is why they voted for a real challenge when you asked how hard the Frost Invasion event should be. And despite everybody voting for a real challenge, you added some super easy boss nonetheless. But then there's a lot of casual players in the game as well that might not have the towers or the ability to be a real challenge, so there would be an easy mode for them. And as for the wave structure, well, let's just take a look at tower battles real quick, because I think they nailed it. 
I mean, you're going from defending 8k HP enemies one wave to defeating a 700,000 HP boss the next. You're really pushing the limits of how strong the towers are, and you really gotta understand the game in order to be able to beat a mode like that. And as for the TDS event, let's see, uh, just spam mini gunners because that definitely requires you to be really good at the game and use your brain because it's a defense game where you gotta think and strategize how to defend. Uh, okay, come on tower defense simulator, do you not see the connection here? Now you've heard me out, the basis for a good event is to have an easy and a hard way to play it because, you know, of course people want a challenge, and also to have it push the limits of Tower Defense Simulator, have you really understand how towers work, and really add use to towers, like how is it a frost event, but this time there's no use for a flamethrower. I mean, it made more sense last year with the frost invasion event. Why do we need like four different towers in order to be able to beat an event? I mean, at least give some other towers a use because at this point there's just no variety. And don't even get me started on your event tower. This is literally Tower Battles Graveyard. Let's compare them. Tower Battles Graveyard spawns different kinds of skeletons in order to defeat the enemies. Elf Camp spawns different kinds of elves to be able to help you defeat the enemies. In Tower Battles, there's a haunted knight with a sword that runs by and slashes the enemies. In TDS, there's also an elf that slashes enemies as it runs by. And I didn't even get to check out the max elf camp because when I upgraded it to spawn the max level elves, it doesn't even do that. I have to wait a whole minute for it to spawn the thing I'm buying that upgrade for. I mean, just think about it. Fallens are coming out. I need the max elves, so I upgrade the elf camp, and it's useless. But I am pretty confident that it is not much different from a strong elf, just like Jack being a strong entity going down the road. I think it's about time I stop raging at the developers. And if you guys see this, just put a little bit more heart into your next event, would you? Thank you. And thank you as well, viewer, for watching the video. Goodbye.